All right, welcome to the second video in this series of how to take these field notes from a rail survey and put them into AutoCAD and then create a surface out of them. So in the first video, we created these points. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and open up this drawing. And what we're going to do now is create a surface and then create contour lines. So from here, we go to the Home tab up on the ribbon, click on Surfaces, and we want to create a surface. So we'll click on Create Surface. I'm going to create a 10 surface. So then the layer I want this to be assigned to is not the zero layer. So I'll click on this icon out to the right. It brings up this object layer selection box. So same thing, same icon over on the right. I'll click on it again. And I want to assign this to the C10 layer. So I'll find C, T, I, N, N, select it, hit OK. Hit OK in the object layer box. And that takes me back to my create surface box. So then under name, I'll just go ahead and click on that name cell. And I'm going to give this uh, surface a name. So I'll go ahead and call it figure 8-19, since that's what's being uh, created off of out of your textbooks. And then I'll click in description. You don't have to give a description, but I will. I'll just say that this is figure 8-19 surface. And then my contour lines, I'll go ahead and leave those as contours 2 and 10. I'll go ahead and hit OK. So I created my surface, but nothing happened. So what happened is over here in tool space on the prospector tab, if you find surfaces, you expand it out. Now you've got a surface, but we have not defined our surface. So it create a placeholder for information. So now I need to go in and define the surface. So I'll find point groups. I will right click on point groups, select add, and I will, I will add all of my points. All the points that we created in the first video, those are all points that are gonna be used to determine our contour lines. And they're all in this group. So I'll go ahead and click on it, hit OK. And now you can see we've got contour lines. And we've got a property boundary. Everything's looking pretty good. So that's all there is to creating a surface and creating contour lines. In the next video, we'll take a look at creating some um, point labels and some point markers.